Welcome to Wandering Ongo, your own channel. Today we are going to visit the Heritage Museum Islamabad. The museum covers an area of 60,000 square feet featuring several exhibit halls, making it the largest museum in Pakistan. Lok Versa is commonly called the museum for the people of Pakistan, who the museum calls the real bearers of our cultural traditions. It displays the cultural heritage of Pakistani people. The living style of the different areas of Pakistan is exhibited here in statues, pictures, pottery, music and textile work. Lok Versa is the finest cultural museum in Pakistan. It showcases artworks that help in preserving the living folk and traditional culture and crafts of Pakistan. It is located near Shakar Parian Hills. A large display of embroidered costumes, jewelry, woodwork, metalwork, block printing, ivory and bone work. Traditional architecture facades exhibiting such skills as fresco, mirror work and marble inlay, tile, mosaic and stucco tracery are also displayed. This museum is highly recommended to school teachers to arrange and plan their field trips so that their students can learn to appreciate art, culture and their heritage. A great place to visit for families and their out-of-town visiting guests. Mahenjo-daro was built in the 26th century BCE. It was one of the largest cities of the ancient Indus Valley Civilization, also known as the Harappan Civilization, which developed around 3000 BCE from the prehistoric Indus culture. Mahenjo-daro is the modern name, it translates as Mound of the Dead. Mahenjo-daro was one of the main cities of the Indus Valley Civilization, IVC, which was one of the earliest Bronze Age civilizations and the first great civilization of the Indian subcontinent. The name Mahenjo-daro is reputed to signify the Mound of the Dead. The archaeological importance of the site was first recognized in 1922, one year after the discovery of Harappa. Subsequent excavations revealed that the mounds contained the remains of what was once the largest city of the Indus civilization.
Sire Ranja is a famous sad, love story from the Punjab. The story is about two lovers, Hare a beautiful girl from a rich hot and noble family, and Ranja, a poor farm and poor Donak caste boy. He looked after water buffaloes belonging to Hare's father. They both fell in love but Hare's parents were against their marriage. Hare was married by force to a rich young man. Ranja, very saddened by this, became a hermit he later tried to meet Hare but he failed, and they both died in the end of broken hearts. This is a love story of Kachwaha Prince Dola of Narwar and Pugal Princess Maru. The couple is married in their childhood. Later the father of Dola, the King Nal, died and Dola forgot the marriage and got married again to Malwani. Mar sent many messages to Dola, but all were destroyed by Malwani. Then she came with a plan to reach Dola and sent her messages that she is her first wife who is child marriage with her, illegal now, and now I have changed my mind, I wanted to be independent. She want to stand on her and wanted to do something for her people. So I wanted to end this relationship that's why I want to meet you but I think somebody blocked my messages intentionally. A group of folk singers from Pugal visited the Narwar and told Dola about his first wife Maru. Dola made a perilous journey and faced many obstacles, and his wife Malwani also tried to stop him from going. He arrived at Pugal and Dola and Maru were united at last.